Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. How are you, my loves? I apologize that it's taken me forever to upload your video. But, um, I'm here. This is going to be your ancestor messages. So, we're going to look at what are your ancestor messages. Um, but yeah, I'm so sorry I couldn't upload it. Like, I'm not uploading as frequently. Like, I just have a camera situation going on right now, so I have to get a new camera. But, yes, we're going to get into your ancestor messages. Let me just clear the energy. And let's clear your energy as well. Here we go. Spirit guides, protect me as I read into this energy spirit. Allow me to receive these messages clearly, spirit, and guide me through reading these messages. All right, my beautiful Scorpios, my beautiful Scorpios, the gods and goddesses. Okay, so stupid hoe just came out. <laughs> it was just flipped upside. So um, somebody Scorpio that. That was messing with your energy. Spirit is saying that they're um they're calling this person out, stupid hoe. All right, let's see what what, what messages um, your ancestors have for you, my beautiful Scorpios. Spirit guide. Okay, spirit guide. So your spirit guides. Um, Scorpios, your spirit guides are letting you know that they're present in your life. They want you to, if you don't, if you're not acknowledging your spirit guides, they want you to start acknowledging them because they're putting in the work for you in a spiritual life. So for you not to be, um, acknowledging them and thanking them for all that they do for you, the protection, the demons that they're fighting for you in the spiritual realm, like it, it upsets them. So that's for somebody. It upsets them, like come on you got you got you have to be in tune you got to be in tune you're a spiritual being having a human experience like you got to be in tune in order to get to where you have to be you got to be in tune with your ancestors and your spirit guides right break up let it go releasing hmm that's interesting so for some of you you guys need to or you guys are picking up I'm picking up you guys are you're releasing um, toxic connections toxic habits anything that's not um, in alignment with your growth and evolving and ascending and be, you know be, um, becoming the greatest version of yourself anything that's not aligned with that you're getting rid of it so, um, somebody somebody is like wanting to break up a relationship Scorpio somebody's wanting to break up your current relationship that you have right now Scorpio look stupid hoe some dumbass punk hoe <laughs> okay this came out yo this been wanting to come out stupid hoe this that's that's what this person is They don't learn from their mistakes. What else, spirit? Ancestors. I'm going to take out two more for you guys, and then we'll move on to our other cards. Spiritual awakening. So some of you guys are going through, an, well, obviously, not just some of you guys, all of you. Unless you're a karmic Scorpio, then this is not for you. This is only for my divine masculines and my divine feminines, my chosen ones, all right? I don't speak to karmics. Y'all can go somewhere else. <laughs> y'all can go somewhere else because this reading is not for y'all. Anyways, yes, so my beautiful gods and goddesses, you guys are having a spiritual awakening right now. You guys are seeing things a lot more clear. You guys are getting freaking downloads. 
a lot of clarity is coming to you. Spirit, I'm hearing spirit be giving you downloads while you're sleeping. So let's see what else. Oh, crystal healing. So some of you guys are getting into crystal healing. If not, spirit is... Um, your ancestors want you to get into crystal healing and teaching yourselves, start educating yourselves about crystals and how you can use crystals to heal yourself, to empower yourself, and heal your body. All right? At the, at the bottom of the card is marriage. So Scorpio, um, if you're in a current union right now, there will be marriage. Ooh la la. All right, let's jump into cards. Trees. Wow. Trees. Trees came out. Okay, so Scorpios, some of you are very... Yeah, for, you guys feel so connected to earth, to nature. You guys, some of you like to go outside barefoot. barefoot. My best friend, she's a Scorpio. She loves... She's been... She She's such a nature girl. Like, she... You're only going to see her barefoot outside. <laughs> But some of you guys are very connected with nature. You guys are very connected with the trees. You guys admire the trees. The trees actually, I don't know if you guys knew this, but when you hug a tree, the tree absorbs all the negative energy you have and they give you that cleansing, healing, grounding energy. <clears throat> I'm also picking up that you have a lot of ancestors from a, a variety of places <laughs> i don't know why i'm seeing like offerings to a tree somebody giving offerings to a tree like to the ancestors they go to a certain tree and they give offerings to the ancestors some of you might do this or if it's if you're not doing this i don't know why i'm seeing that but i feel like spirit um you you're being called to go outside and connect with earth more there's some kind of downloads there they want to give you something like some healing energy something for those of you that are ask, asking oh like where where could i where do my ancestors where would my ancestors want me to celebrate them and give offerings to they're saying trees i don't know there's maybe there's a certain tree you feel drawn to and that's your spirit guides letting you know, like, hey, right there. Like, that's where you can, that's where you're being called to give offerings to the ancestors. Phobias. Hmm. On the bottom of the card, you have Atlantis. Did I say bottom of the card? Bottom of the deck. Um, Atlantis. So some of you guys, your ancestors, you have some of you, some of your ancestors have past life in Atlantis, or you might have a past life in Atlantis. So you're from Atlantis. You had a, you lived in Atlantis with the ancestors. The ancestors are letting you know you're from Atlantis. Okay. You're one magical ass person, Scorpio. <laughs> Phobias, so hmm, that's interesting that that came out. I'm picking up that phobias that you had in a past life. You still have those phobias. Those phobias came came with you when you came down into this life. Your ancestors are saying that comes from that's coming from past lives. From, I don't know like generation I'm I'm just I just got generations like this 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 phobia is, has gotten passed down from generations uh, yeah Scorpio you you are the um you are the cycle breaker hello my lovely Scorpios so I had to um get up and do something 
Um, if you hear a baby in the background, that is my baby girl. I had to bring her outside with me. So please don't mind her, guys. She's just enjoying nature right now. <laughs> but let's continue on with your reading, my loves, okay? So like I was saying before, you guys are breaking uh, generational curses. Oh, wow. Yes. Uh, okay, so a lot of my Scorpios, a lot of you, my loves, you guys are Native Americans. Okay. Your ancestors are Native Americans. You guys might have already known this. But you guys are Native Americans. Yes. If you guys live out in, um, out in New York, that's your land. That's the land of your ancestors. Your ancestors own that. And it's crazy that these motherfuckers killed killed millions of people and stole their their land. The government. And people are over here kissing ass to the government, living in the matrix that the government created. It's crazy, y'all. And here we have father. So, um, I'm picking up that somebody's father, um, has passed over. Somebody's father has passed over, and I'm picking up that they look after you, they watch over you. I'm also picking up that they comfort you whenever you're upset. I'm picking up that... They're gonna guide you. They're gonna guide you. They're gonna help guide you. They're gonna like, they're your spirit guide now. They are your spirit guide. Your, your father is your spirit guide. Um, some of your ancestors could have been sailors too with this ship. Maybe some of you own, sh own ships, like it was passed down from, you know, generation to generation. That might resonate with some somebody. Okay, now I'm going to go with my tarot cards, babes. And we're going to see what other important messages your ancestors may have for you. Okay? So, yes, your ancestors are Native American. I'm just picking up, too, that your ancestors want you, want you to do a little more research about uh, what tribe your ancestors were in or what tribe, you know, you're from. Spirit, what messages do Scorpio's ancestors have for them? This just flipped out. Um, the Hermit. So, you guys right now, with this Hermit card. With this Hermit card, I've got Eight of Pentacles. Number eight represents balance. You guys. Yo, you guys. Wow. When I say... You're cutting off all things that aren't serving you. Like, you're on your hermit mode. You're focusing on yourself. You're keeping your energy to yourself. You're protecting your energy. You're taking shit serious now. You don't have time to be making the same mistakes. And you're over it. You're over it. You're over it. So you just want to fall into alignment with your purpose. And you're breaking generational cycles. So you're not going to be tied to the toxic things in the past anymore, Scorpio. You're not, you're not going to be tied to the toxic things anymore. All right. <clears throat> you're being divinely guided is what I'm picking up. Let's continue. Um, okay. Scorpio, I'm gonna keep it real raw with y'all. There's somebody, yo, know, there's somebody that's like trying to stop you. They're trying to stop you from moving forward. They're trying so fucking hard. Like, they dedicate their life to sabotaging you. Because I keep getting, I can't, I keep getting, um, what you wanna call it? Interrupted. I keep getting interrupted in your reading. So. 
I keep getting interrupted, Scorpio. Like, I'm telling you. I keep getting interrupted. This person is trying to sabotage you, stop you from moving forward in your life. From moving on from them. They don't want you to move on. They want to destroy you, whoever this stupid hoe is that spirit is calling out right now. And you're moving from that. You're like... You're, you see how he's in a coffin right now? That's kind of like, that's his protection. Like, you're protected. Everything is blocked out. All the negative energies that this person is trying to send to you and, and whatever they have planned, it's all blocked and it's not going to work. It's going to bounce back. It's going to get sent back. It's karma season, so everything's being sent back, Scorpio. It is karma season. Let's see what else. Uh, Knight of Swords in Reverse. What else? Spirit. Um, this Knight of Swords energy in Reverse. I don't know. Strength. I don't. I'm not picking up that. That's your energy, Scorpio. I'm picking up that somebody else's energy. That Knight of Swords in Reverse. Um, somebody's mental, like their mental is about to go downhill. They're going to have to get locked in, locked up in a psych ward. Like, I'm telling you, that's how, that's how bad their mental is going to be. They're not going to have, they're going to be really unstable. They're going to be mentally unstable, emotionally unstable. And this is their karma that judgment card in reverse like this is what this person gets for literally refusing to listen to spirit refusing to move on and heal themselves and spirit kept warning them spirit kept warning and warning them they kept warning them they're like okay now you now this person's life is about to go downhill and it starts now, okay? It, this starts now. It starts now. Two of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. This starts now. This person is not. This person isn't gonna have any strength to fight. They're not gonna have no strength to fight the spirits. That are going to haunt and destroy and torment them for the rest of their life. Because that's the karma that they brought on themselves. Your ancestors, they've seen everything this person did. They've seen everything they did to you. And the ancestors, like, we got it. I just heard... <laughs> I just heard... Um, they're roadkill. They're roadkill for the ancestors. They're not going to have no type of strength to fight the demons that she put out, that this person put out to you. I keep saying her. For most of you guys, this uh, could be a female, but I know there's other people that, you know, it could be males. It's all energy. It's all energy, so um, if it don't apply, let it fly, my loves. Okay. So now I'm gonna go with my work your work your light oracle cards, see what messages, what other messages your ancestors have for you. So, yes. So you're being divinely guided, Scorpio. You are protected, and this person, this person's life, mental state is going down the hill i really strongly feel like they're gonna get locked up in a psych ward or they're gonna get locked up in prison for a crime that they committed this fell out. oh hold on <laughs> this fell out but look what it says guys it says priestess right priestess okay how are you being called to step up and lead? 
I feel like a lot of you guys energetically are stepping up and you guys deep down in your soul know that you guys are supposed to be leaders. You have the spirit of a leader. Especially my my masculine Scorpios. But yes, um I'm also picking up that you could have been a, a priestess, a priest, a high a high priestess or a priest in a past life. You're very powerful Scorpio and um I'm also picking up that you're definitely somebody somebody high ranking in the spiritual realm you hold a lot of knowledge wisdom subconsciously that you may not know about that you've collected from past lives and just in general who you are in the spiritual realm you're high ranking in the spiritual realm so this is why i was telling you this is why the beginning of your reading i i was speaking about your spirit guide a lot, a lot of people they don't they don't know about they don't have no idea what that they have spirit guides assigned to them when they come to down on this earth they don't know that and i said you guys and i said you guys have to be in tune with spirit why and i said because you guys are spiritual beings but <laughs> but not just that but you're someone who holds a lot of magical powers okay you're someone fucking magical okay you came down to this earth to teach people how to heal, to teach magic to other people. Okay? So I'm saying, spirits like, hello, you gotta be in tune with us, bruh. We are one. We are one. If you're not in tune with us, you're, you're not gonna fully know who you really are. And we're trying to show you. We're gonna give you all the tea, all the knowledge, and guidance, all the downloads too. So what else, spirit? Especially your ancestors. Your ancestors are gonna pass down the, the the knowledge, the wisdom that they know, the magic that they knew, the ancient magic that they've been using. They're gonna pass. They're gonna pass that down to you. They're gonna give you that. That's what I'm saying. You guys gotta be in tune, really connect with your spirit guides, your ancestors. Start, you know really focusing on your spiritual awakening you guys are having a spiritual awakening you guys are coming into alignment with this truth what else spirit break the chain ancestral patterns healing rewriting the future i'm you can't make this up what did i say you are breaking generational curses scorpio generational curses look at this this is why your ancestors are going hard for you you're the one you're the one who your ancestors have been waiting for. Because you're the one that's going to break the chain. Break the, the generational curse. You're rewriting the future. You're healing the ancestral bloodline. Ooh, that's powerful. I just got goosebumps, Scorpio. I got goosebumps all over my body right now. I have goosebumps all over my body right now. I swear to you, Scorpio. That's confirmation. What else, spirit? <laughs> Console of light, divine um, orchestration, helpers, and subtle realms. What did I just say? Your ancestors are going hard. You have, look, now I was talking about your spirit guides. Yo, your spirit guides are like, yo, we're here. We're here. We're doing the work. We're fighting the war for you in the spiritual realm. Like, we got your back. We got your back. Like, you're not fighting this alone. You're not fighting this alone, Scorpio. I'm telling you, you're not fighting this alone. You have an army of, of uh, ancestors and spirit guides that got your back. And they're kicking ass right now. They're kicking demons' ass right now. They're protecting you. You're surrounded by light. Because you're a love and light divine being. You're chosen. What else, my beloved ancestors? What else? What other messages do you have for my beautiful Scorpios? Oh, wow. Warrior woman. How do you answer your deepest calling? Warrior woman. Um, what's that song? I, a song just came to my mind. Um, it's by Lava. She says, I'm a warrior in the garden, protect the wombs. 
Uh, I forgot what she said. From, mm, 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 mm. But she says she's a warrior in the garden and she's a protector of the wombs. Of wombs. So she protects the womb. She protects the mother. She protects children. Right? She stands in her uh, feminine power. Right? Warrior woman. So a lot of you, a lot of you, my loves, <laughs> you are spiritual warriors. My masculines, you are a spiritual warrior. My feminines, you are a spiritual warrior as well. And have you answered your deepest calling? What's your deepest calling? That's what, you, that's what some of you are trying to figure out. And let me tell you something. You're going to get your answer from spirit. <laughs> you're going to get your answer from spirit. They're going to show you. They're going to reveal the truth. They're going to show you everything. That's what I'm saying. Be in tune. Connect with your spirit, guys. Meditate. Like, come on, start talking to them. Okay? You need to be in tune with them. All right? Bottom of the deck, we have birthing a new age, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. Yeah. You have a very big purpose on this earth, Scorpio. And some of you guys are healers. Some of you guys are supposed to be teachers, like teaching people magic about spirituality, how to heal themselves, whatever. But you have a very powerful spiritual power that you need to be tapping in to. Okay? Because you are birthing, you are you are going to be birthing new creations. Like, you don't understand what's going to come. All the blessings that's going to come with that, Scorpio. Right? Okay, my loves. Okay, my loves. So, that is all that I have for you today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. If you guys did, please give me a thumbs up. And comment down below if this resonated with you. Um and subscribe if you'd like to send you guys so much love so i'm gonna let you guys go i'm just gonna ring <laughs> all right bye my love stay blessed continue being awesome shining your light i love you all very much sending you lots of blessings ashe